everyone, this is Seven here. Uh, today we're going to learn how to do a pixel effect. So we want to open up Photoshop. Okay, now open up a new project by pressing Control N. Now I want to do a 5, uh, do about 1920 by 1080. Press Control, let's just place a new image. So go to my renders, any render can do. Uh, preferably one that has a um, an opaque background um, with no background rather it's cropped out in other words so let's have this dead center and let's press control J twice to duplicate it As a matter of fact just once now press control T on that duplicated layer shrink it down uh, this can be for anything that you guys want to do um, I'm just doing it for this so press control J on that one Press Control T, Shift, and left click and drag it along the the guideline that it has. <coughs> that should do. Okay. <coughs> now I want to get rid of their their smart objects. So just press your brush tool and click on the artboard, and it'll get rid of their smart object. Um, there you go. Now open up mask layers for all three. What we want to do is <clears throat> we want to well, let's bring these closer, actually. It would make much sense. There we go. Let's get rid of that one, duplicate this one. And bring them out to the same size. Oh, did duplicate. Control J. There we go. All right. That should do. And now I want to go to my. Just name them. Uh, get in the habit of doing this whenever you're going and messing around with a lot of uh, layers. So this is the center one. This is left, and this is right. Just bring us on top. Okay, now go to the mask layers of both the left and right. And um, what happens is on a mask layer, if you use black and white, what black does, oops, um, it reveals the layer. So let's just make this bigger and white, well black gets rid of the picture and um, white reveals it so it doesn't get rid of the actual image just the mask layer makes it so it can't be seen okay now what you want to do is we want to use that um, brush that I just had um, so it can be any brush preferably the square brush to get this digital pixely effect you want to go to your shape dynamics bring it to 100 your minimum diameter up to about 20 angle jitter to 10 that's fine and then smoothing that would be good too smoothing and build up perf no no build up you just click it um, now what we want to do is for our center one go to its mask layer and just take some parts off um, uh, pray, let's hold build up so this way we can just press it Alright. <clears throat> Alright, I like that. Oh, it's too much. Too much. Let's press Control Alt Z to go back. Or you can go to your history brush and do that. Alright. Mm. Okay, let's go to brush tools. And so we want to go to the layers that we hid under our layer mask and change it to white. Now let's reveal these. And do the same thing to this side. And do the same thing back to this side. It's kind of the same effect. And back to this side. You can do as much as you want. Um, kind of gives the effect that 
he's kind of like leaving or oops or like leaving the center whatever the case may be you can just mess around with it that is not what I wanted what the hell is this okay <laughs> um, I was in the layer mask from another layer whatever okay go back to the center one <laughs> and just get rid of more of him uh, and do the same thing for both sides and let's reveal the other side left and right there we go and go to your background you can do anything for your background and typically a gradient looks nice uh, he's like red and white red and gray uh, let's do a gradient so go to your paint bucket go to gradient and let's do a burgundy burgundy to a gray so like an off-white <coughs> oops to the bottom layer until the center and let's reverse that because I don't like how it came out or we can just go here oops gradient layer and do the same thing kinda like that white that red and an off gray there we go scale it up and bring that to radial and reverse it Honestly, you can do anything, <laughs> but uh, that's what, that's what happens when you do this little pixely effect, and you can get like make him look like he's disappearing or vanishing from the center point. So, yep, that's seven designs here, guys. Um, that's tutorial Tuesday: how to do a digital pixely effect. Thank you, guys.